Listen to this. 52% of Africans are farmers. That means they are literally doing agriculture. Yet, we continue to import so much food into the continent and we can still feed ourselves. Have you been wondering why? If 52% of us are into agriculture, then what are we doing wrong? And why are we failing in fighting hunger in Africa? Today in this video, I'm going to discuss with you why majority of us are failing after being in the farming industry for years. I know probably I have inspired you and you want to go into agriculture. I don't want you to be part of this group that is failing as part of the 52 percent and that's why i'm going to take my time today and walk you guys through the right way we can succeed so that these 52 people can feed the continent to the extent of even exporting so if this is something that you would like to hear then stay tuned because we're going to have a detailed discussion today about why people are failing in agriculture in africa welcome back guys and as i said today we're going to be talking about why farmers in africa are failing why are we not doing well if 52 percent of us are in agriculture business right with over 200 million hectares of farmland pure fertile land that we could use and therefore i believe that africa should be the hub for farming agriculture food of the world so what are we not doing right? And that's what we're going to be focusing on, considering the amount of land that we have and the amount of the population that are actually doing farming. If you haven't been asking yourself this question, that is what I'm asking and that's what I want us to talk about today. But before we go into detail, I want to tell you that we've started our next consignment of exotic breed of goats into Ghana and West Africa. So if you're interested in starting your goat farm the right way with the right genetics, get in touch with us on WhatsApp and let's help you get yourself a good breed of goats that you can start well and make sure that your farm is succeeding and you're earning money from all the investment you're putting in. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're going to be talking about why farmers fail. And I think point number one for me is knowledge. They say lack of knowledge my people perish and lack of knowledge we will continue repeating the same mistake over and over and over our parents wasn't stupid you know they did something right but in this modern world in order for you and i our time and our return on investment to be worth it we need to do things different and therefore we need a certain kind of knowledge in addition to what our parents and grandparents were doing we can take only that knowledge and say we are going to succeed. We can use the same resources or manpower that they were doing and say we are going to succeed. So if you're going to go into the agricultural industry, we need to treat it like any other industry. Even real estate that we, we've been building houses for years. When people are going into real estate, they just don't wake up and say, I'm going to build my house here. They do research. They seek the knowledge right of what is the cost involved right um of, of building my, the house what is the market price you need to do your research and seek the right knowledge why are you choosing livestock farming over crop farming right is your community demanding more meat or more crops what product are they requiring you need to seek all this knowledge spend time invest time into that we can't just all be farmers and go in and think that we are, it's going to work because after all it's farming you need to seek the knowledge and the fact that you are actually watching this video means that you've taken the first step but don't let me be the only source there are a lot of farmers out there there are a lot of articles people that have done it i'm not talking about people that are just on the internet thinking they are farmers but people that are actually farming and have gained the experience seek those knowledge and with that knowledge you'll be able to make the right decision and approach farming as a business and not just like as, as a hobby or as a retirement job for you the second thing is skills skills is very very important i will use real estate as an example again like when you go and you said i want to be you know a renter or i want to build houses i want to go into the real estate business you don't go and you start buying you know shovel and cement and you build you look for the right people 
right who have experience and knowledge in what they are doing to come you look for a plumber you look for a mason you look for a carpenter this is the case when we go into farming we just buy our land we start planting we start building you know and we think we are farmers so we are going to do it but most of our investments are going to lose because of lack of the skills and i know yes the government and blah blah could do better but we can't base our investment on government in the same way when you go into real estate you don't say oh the government should do this and this you look for the skills that you need so farming has skills as well farming has experts right so make sure that you're using the right expert go to your community where's your veterinary officer speak to them get to even know do they even have knowledge in what you're doing right how are they able to support you do they have the vaccinations for the diseases what are the common diseases that are there based on that you'll be able to understand if the skill set will meet the innovation that you're bringing into agriculture because if you don't have the skills trust me you're gonna fail right you can be the doctor of your farm you can be the visionary of your farm and you can be the farmer itself right most of us are actually producers and businessmen not the actual farmer but who are you going to employ you know you're investing thousands of dollars and in cities into your goats into your sheep into what and at the end of the day you give it in the hands of somebody who hasn't seen a quarter of that amount before how do you think he's going to treat it right so get the right skills to manage it it's time we invest in it properly and not just in the goal hi there i hope this video has been educative and fun for you to watch thank you so much for watching this video but i have a quick question for you if today is your first time welcome to the Semenshia family but if you, this is your second, third, or fourth video, my question is, why haven't you joined our family? Please go ahead and hit the subscription button. And don't forget to also like this video so that we can grow this family that is on a journey to change the narrative of farming in Africa. So I'm gonna go to my reason number three, which is better planning with the resources that is at your disposal, right? So we talk about knowledge, we've talked about skills. The knowledge is for yourself to know what you're doing. You can go into a business blind. So you get the knowledge to understand what you're doing. You get the right skill people to implement what you're doing. Again, using the real estate, you know the, the kind of house you want to build, your vision, your business plan, but you look for an architect who is going to design it. You look for um, a mason who's going to build it, a plumber who's going to do it. So now with all these skills, what skill sets, right? You've, you've gone to your veterinary offices, you've gotten your farm manager, you've gotten your vet. Now you're looking at the resources that I have, which is all these people. How do I put it into better use? What is the better plan? And what is the first things first? Let me do the soil testing, right? Let me design my plan yet. After I've designed my plan, the materials I'm gonna use, what is the cost involved? Being able to plan better with the resources that you have at your disposal is gonna get you the success. Instead of just going in and realizing that, hey, I don't even have food. You're going into cattle farming and your goal is that I'm going to feed them with cassava um, pills. How many cows can you grow to be able to feed them with cassava pills from your home or just from your community? It's not sustainable. I've been there. I've done that before. There was a time when I started my cattle business. I would go to town and pick cassava pills from people's houses just to bring it to my farm. But at the end of the day, the amount of money I was even spending on that fuel and the stress that it was going through and the things I have to do with the cassava pills when I bring it to the farm, it wasn't better plan, right? What resources do you have? If you're in the livestock business, then you know I'm always advocating for you guys to buy brachyria grass, start planting, have your feed stored before you even start, right? That is part of the resources and the planet. When you have all this in place, you'll be able to even design your farm in a way that you know where you're going to plant your feed and you have access to feed all the time to feed your livestock. Water, again, that's your land even has water channels that you can drill water. All this planning mist, you just don't go in. Is your soil actually the right type of soil for this kind of club? All these things need to be done, right? So plan better with the resources that you have. And I believe that it will contribute hugely to your success or how you do as a farm. Reason number four for me, is the right tools and machines as well as i said in the beginning right we can't our our forefathers have excellent knowledge 
and techniques that we need to learn and build on. But if we want to do farming in this modern world and scale and be able to make an impact that is worth you a nice time, then we need to do things differently. And differently being, means that basically being innovative. Now we know everybody is even going to school. So even to get laborers to be able to work at your farm and, you know, and support your vision is hard. And therefore, when you're going into farming, you need to make sure that you're looking at the kind of farming you're doing and the kind of tools and machines that you're going to get your hands on in order for you to be able to be more efficient, right? And not depend solely or a lot on even like human resources. And that's where I have got into. And that's why we started the Agro Store basically to share some of these small tools and equipment with farmers like yourself and equip you the right way. You see our planter. I basically can plant like two acres of maize within like maybe three hours. If you're using manpower, you probably cannot even plant a plot in a day, right? Like you look at the corn shiller that we have. Those are the days when, when my mom harvests corn, we all have to sit, beat the corn and peel it. Now we have this machine, you put it in there in a few hours, your corn has already been peeled. And that's the kind of machines, tools that we need to start thinking of. Tractor, even if you can buy a tractor, there are rental companies for tractor. There are walking tractors that you can buy, which are cheaper that you can use to do, you know, some of the basic work. I did um, a video about the three tools that I actually use at my farm. If you haven't watched that video, um, we're linking it up here. You can go and watch it, but we need those tools to be able to help us meet the the excess demand that we have and to be more efficient as farmers moving on to reason number five reason number five is management management is key for me and i think most of us that are watching me we are either going to be at the farm involved in the activities or we are actually going to be in our cities at our jobs in abroad and expect somebody to do the work on the field if whatever situation that you're in you need proper management proper management means the people that you're going to be working with how do you transfer your vision of how you want you see the farm to them right how do you want things to be done trust me um i was actually having a conversation with a friend about you know like the workforce and resources and you might hire somebody thinking that oh this person for example is gonna be my digital marketing person or sales whatever but then this person comes in and you have to teach the person how to use computer how to use simple things like even document so the the reason why you hire that person is far away from what you actually have to teach the person to get to right so mostly in our farms we don't have the right farm managers we're just gonna you know especially if you're in the livestock business mostly nobody wants to to go into managing cattle or managing goats so it's 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 been a sector that has been dedicated to either the Fulani herdsmen or a few tribe or a few group of people and those people that you're trusting with their thinking their exposure their way of doing things are completely different from what you know or what your vision is right so all these things needs to be taken into a consideration and think of the kind of people you're hiring which is the skills basically and how are you going to manage them to get the best out of them to share your vision with them so that what you hope to achieve in the farming industry can happen right and i think all these things plus many are a lot of things that we need to do before we even go into farming if we want to succeed i know there could be countless different things that we need to do but these are my top five things that i believe that if you're able to take a step back and put the right measures in place and do it right you can succeed and not be among the people that are failing because 52 percent is a good number for us to be able to feed the continent i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and and found it as educative um, as possible let me know in the comments below what you guys think as you guys know we have launched our website as well 
click on the link above go to our website explore we have free resources there that you can download and add to what we just talked about today to help you succeed um if you guys want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, again you can book it from there there's so many things you can order your gold from there you can order your brachyria grass everything that you need from there as well thank you guys so much for sticking around um and as i said i hope this is helpful i'm gonna see you again in the next video